Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. Don't forget to check out Mr. Popsit Fishing. It's my new channel and it kind of helps the whole brand grow and it actually helps this channel too. So if you like what you're seeing, hit like and subscribe on Mr. Popsit and Mr. Popsit Fishing. Thanks for popping Okay by. guys, Greg Lynch, Durham PA here. And we have one of many things that we do, which is an, an abscess. This is on the underside of a breast and it's common in patients that are diabetics. They tend to get more infections. And you can see here, this is really inflamed. I'm covering the areola here with my hand and this is the outer lower part of the breast. So this is very red, very warm and very tender. We're gonna do some numbing in the middle where we're gonna cut there. And this is a lot of fluid. Potentially there's a small cyst in there. Um, but we will see um, if we get some cyst contents or not. And we're going to kind of drain this into a cup for her as well um, so we can kind of get it in that catch basin. We'll get her nice and numb and prepped, and then we'll be back in just a minute. She should feel instant relief and sleep a lot better tonight for sure. Hey, guys, Mr. Popsit here. We have the abscess prepped, ready, and comfortable, and we got some lidocaine in there. As we know, with the acid base shift, it doesn't take away all of the pain, but usually it takes away the bad stings. So we got her ready here. Here, and this is likely a pretty good fluid pocket. So we're just gonna make a little cut here and then drain some of this fluid in and then see if we get any any uh, chunks of cyst or anything like that. Let me know if you have any pain, okay? You okay? I'm okay. Good. Yeah. So we are seeing a lot of kind of coagulated a little bit of blood there. Good. And that is deflating a little bit of clots and a little bit of I saw a couple look like cyst cyst material in there. That's good. Well, it's just that little pocket. You can see the bruising. You can see how that's gone down quite a bit. We're gonna flush a little bit in there. There's not. I don't feel a lot of cyst in there either. Doing okay, not too bad. Little no, pain, okay. No, yeah, when we get to the bottom, that can start to get pretty tender. Yeah, you can just kind of see, just kind of mushy at the bottom there. I don't see any cyst material. Just kind of fatty breast tissue underneath, which is common. And we're feeling in the pocket for any remnants of a cyst. And I don't feel any there. And she may have had a small cyst there that had a really big inflammatory response. Over here, um, I've almost felt a cyst a little bit. There's a little punctum there too in the past, but that's gone down um, in the past with an injection. So it could have blown out this way. And this is the second or third time that this has filled up. And do you have an ultrasound? Do we have that done? Uh, no. I don't think we did that yet. Yeah, maybe good to get some imaging too. But yeah, so that's looking good. I'm gonna flush in that pocket a little bit here. Hold this under here. And it's actually not a super deep pocket. So yeah, it puffs up and then just rinses out. And we're not, we're little tiny bits, but not bad. So a little bit of blood in there too. So relieving that pressure, you can see this tissue just kind of folds up now because it was so stretched out. I'm gonna do a little Q-tip here, okay? If this is really tender, let me know. Okay. A little bit, not too no, bad. I don't, no, I don't feel it. Okay, that's a deep pocket in here. You can see it goes all the way down here, just gently caressing the bottom, left to right, and see if we can get any contents to stick to that dry cotton. I don't see any. A little pain there, not bad. No. Going all the way over to that pore, you can see this This is a big pocket there. And what I'm looking for is any cyst contents. Now I have had a case of a patient, areolas right at the edge here, some ducts that got clogged and you know, especially um, when people are lactating, but it can happen when you're not like little, little there. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, the top there. Yeah, and it's pretty smooth on the bottom. I'm just feeling fat tissue here, which should be there. 
little pocket right there. Right here's a little loculation. About that. And yeah, we're not getting a whole lot. No other chunks or anything. We'll do one more flush. And this is actually a pretty flat pocket. Um, so it doesn't go deep. There's, there's tissue, breast tissue right underneath there. And fill that back up. You can see how it fills here. Saline flush. Just goes right around this area. And I went all the way around the Q-tip. It didn't go in, it just goes kind of sideways. And that can happen, sorry, a little bit there, yeah. That can happen when we, um, when we get just a little localized either bacterial infection or, and there wasn't a lot of purulence either. I didn't see a lot of pus. Um, and this tissue, it just kind of goes sideways. It doesn't go down in there because there's pretty dense breast tissue and fat tissue underneath. It just lifts up the skin and it gets real kind of, you can see thinned out like that. So we'll put a pressure bandage on here um, and you didn't get much cysts. We just got a lot of fluid, which was likely causing you the discomfort. Okay. After we get this to go down completely, we'll come back and start feeling around. If we feel a small cyst there, we may do an excision because that could be the conduit of what's causing this to get pretty inflamed over and over. Um, but we'll see. The time, another time this did happen, um, there's one I didn't see, but one I did. Um, when it went down, it looked normal. It went all the way back to normal and she was doing fine, but it's been quite a while. So we'll see here. She does respond positively to antibiotics. It dries it up and heals really well. But it may be time to go in here and, and do an exploratory surgery after this is um, all the inflammation's down. So that looks good. Thanks to her for sharing. Um, that was a, you know, it's not your average abscess as far as um, abscesses can be an inflamed cyst, they can be in a bacterial infection. This it might have some bacteria in it and possibly some small cyst particles, but it was mostly fluid and inflammation. And getting that out will still help her feel a lot better. Um, we still do an antibiotic. I am gonna do a little culture and we'll see if it comes back as anything and then we'll go from there. Thanks for popping by and I hope she sleeps better tonight. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs>